Hey people, welcome back. And today we are going to learn about one of the prioritization technique for the solution is called as a control impact matrix. Let me write the name. It is called as in control impact matrix. It's a prioritization technique. So basically when you identified multiple solutions and at a time you really cannot implement all the solution. So we have to prioritize which solution to implement when. Which one to be prioritized. For that purpose we have used control impact matrix. So there are two ways for any prioritization solution that how easily we can implement the solution which means control is high if it is easy or control is low then it's a difficult. Second, what is the impact it is giving to the solution? Impact may be high which means most of the problem are solved or impact is low when the only very few problems we are solving or the ratio like as maybe you are 100% problem you are solving impact is high or maybe 20-30% problem of the business you are solving impact is low so we create a four blocker suppose let's say like this this is I am creating for you people And you will have the two verticals, sorry, two axes. One is for Y axis and another one is for the X axis. And here we see. Now, on the X axis, it depends on you what you want to put. Either you can put impact or you can put control. It's completely your choice. Let's say I'm putting the impact here. Impact is high or impact is low. Now on the y axis, again I will do the same thing. And instead of impact, maybe I will be putting up control here. So control is high or control is low. As I was telling, first thing we focus on the control the how easily the solution can be implemented. Because many times you see, the most of the problem are coming because of the one reason only. But that reason you really can't do anything. Maybe it's because of the government policy. Maybe it's because of the client restriction. Maybe it's require a huge budget. So when you really can't do anything for that, whatever the impact it will give, doesn't matter. So always see which are the things you can easily control or easily implement. So when there is a high control and high impact, these are your priority one. Which means such solutions should be implemented immediately. These are your first priority when there is a high control and high impact. Now first priority we have decided, second priority will be, obviously we'll go with the first high control and the low impact so this will be your priority too and once your high priority which is the immediately immediate solution priority one is implemented then these are your short term solution which means your immediate solution are implemented now within the short span of time we will be implementing these solution now we'll go for the low control but it comes with the high impact so these things we mark as a priority three and these are your long-term solution. Because priority one immediate solution, high control, high impact you implemented. Priority two, high control and low impact you have implemented in a short span of time. Priority three, 
when you have a low control but impact is high where you have to see what are the changes you have to bring approval from the client changes in the machine and all that will come so priority three and when you have a low impact and low control please ignore them because you really can't do anything your control is low neither they are impacting your process because impact is also low so now we understand which are the solutions should come to your first priority second priority third priority and ignore this is how we decide the control impact metrics next session i will explain you about the pug metrics thank you so much